It's 20 years now, I actually can talk about it. When you're born nine months apart, it's like a twin. She was my best friend. 22-year-old Anita Smith was the cashier at Wendy's Main Street on May 24, 2000. She was supposed to left at 11 o'clock. Within the hour, the basement freezer revealed a brutal crime. Seven people shot and five dead at the scene. They were all taped. Every one of them had a plastic bag placed over their head. The seven victims were a tight-knit group from different backgrounds. Wendy's manager, Gina Gust, was newly engaged. We were supposed to get married next year. Jaquan Johnson, just 18 then, was one of two survivors. He told his story to PIX11 for the first time this year. The bullet went in right here and went through, came through the nose. It felt like I got hit with a sludge hammer. It was one, two, three, pass the gun, four, five, six, and I was the seventh one. Cops quickly focused on one-time assistant manager John Taylor, who'd left a fingerprint on the box of plastic bags. He was on the lam with an accomplice. I was sleeping, and when they called, my sister called me yelling that something happened, and Wendy... Benjamin Nazario ran to Booth Memorial Hospital and demanded a cop tell him the truth about why his brother wasn't in the ER. That means my brother is dead. He was killed. He's still in the freezer. He was like... Yep, he's dead. At 44, Nazario, born in Puerto Rico, was the oldest victim. He left behind a daughter and a toddler's son. He waited that night for his father to come home in the window. John Taylor, a 36-year-old father of four, was picked up within two days. When Mr. Taylor was arrested, he had the gun that was used with him. I did not shoot any of those victims in there. Taylor's 11-page statement pinned everything on Craig Godino, an imposing security guard he was working with at a Jamaica clothing store. As a child, Godino was diagnosed as mentally slow. He gave me $300 and a gold coin. $300 for seven people shot. Yeah. Godino pleaded guilty to five counts of murder, sentenced to life without parole. Taylor was convicted at trial and sentenced to death. I was against it until it it happened to me, come to my door. Anita Smith's family still keeps the newspaper headlines crying justice in a scrapbook. But John Taylor, the mastermind, is still alive. The little boy who waited for his dad by the window, Ramon Nazario III, is now a U.S. Marine. Joining the military had been a dream for Jeremy Mealy of Neptune, New Jersey, just 18 when he was killed at Wendy's. Dreams and a sense of responsibility are what all the victims had. Benjamin Nazario feels a special affection for survivor Jaquan Johnson, his brother's friend. Would you like to see Jaquan after all these years? Oh yes, and give him a hug. It's been a long time. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.